Hi YouTube, Alan here. Today I'm going to be talking about how to salvage a print. As you've noticed, some of my prints don't adhere to the printed bed very well. So one of these prints was my TIE Fighter print that I printed off around Christmas time. It kind of just rocked because this is when the printed bed broke and uh, it started warping and, and breaking off from the printed bed. So I wanted to figure out how to fix this so I can get the print that mates together well. So what I did was I typed in how to fix a warped ABS print into uh, Google and an instructable popped up. This uses a pot with some hot water in it uh, to try to flex them straight. So let's go to that and see how I did. So welcome to my kitchen. Here I'm going to try this instructable to fix my TIE Fighter print which warped when it came out. As you can see it doesn't match up very well here. Uh, so I'm going to try to uh, bend this straight back out so we can salvage this print and not have to print it again. Ideally you'd want to have it so it doesn't warp when it comes off the print bed but if you already got it warped how can we fix it? So what you need to do is you need to get a little bit of water in a pot um, I'd probably suggest a pot you're not using for food. Uh, this is an old pot I have around. Uh, so you get a little bit of water and you want to heat it up on low until it's nice and warm. Uh, but not boiling because you don't want to overheat these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just stick it in. You're only going to want enough water to cover the layers that you want to flex uh, to straighten it out again. You don't want to melt the whole thing. So I'm going to put it in, let it warm up a little bit and see if we can flex it straight again on this flat surface here. So I've never done this before. so. It might go horribly wrong, uh, and if it does, that'll be an interesting result as well. Actually, that seems to have improved it already. It rocked a little bit before, and now it's not rocking at all, so let's see how it matches up with the, the back half. Still a little bit warped. Now I don't know if that's the back half being a little warped or the front half, but it'll be easier to make the front half match the back half, so I'm just going to overflex this I think a little bit and try to get it to uh, match. Now you want to be careful, these can kind of be hot, that's why I'm wearing gloves now. Try to keep it from uh, hurting my hands. So let's see how this works now. Uh, it's getting there, it's not great. So let's try to heat up this part. So this probably isn't great for the plastic, dipping it in water and heating it up, but that's why it's kind of salvaging the print uh, instead of having to reprint it. So ideally you'd want to be able to make sure it sticks to the heated bed correctly, but if that can't happen or you've already printed it out and it already failed, this is something to try. Each time it is getting better than the last, so we're getting there.
There we have it. As you can see, it matches up really well now. Normally you'd want to make both parts straight. Since this one was a lot harder to bend than the other one, I, I just chose to bend the front to make it match the back. So here we have it. There's no real space in between there now. So it's looking great. So this seems to work. If you have warped prints coming off your printer and they seem to be pretty thin, it seems to work pretty well. This thicker one didn't seem to work so well. Um, just be careful. You're dealing with high temperatures uh, and water. It's obviously not ideal. The idea would be to print it off correctly the first time, but since that wasn't an option and you want to salvage them, try this out. So as you saw, that was a success. They now match up pretty well, and I think this is a good enough surface for me to glue it together to get a finalized TIE Fighter print out. If I was to do it again for something this size, it'd probably work again, but if you were printing off something large and flat, it's probably not the way to go. It did require a lot of finesse to get the print to come out correctly. Putting it in the water, taking it out, trying to flatten it, seeing it was enough, putting it back in. So it was kind of time consuming. Uh, if it was something larger and flatter, I might try to bake it in the oven, just allow it to slump kind of flat and then kind of roll it out or, or push it out. So I'm going to try to glue it together how it is now and get a finalized print out. If you have any comments or suggestions on things that you want me to do next, leave them down below. If you like this video, give it a like, and if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe.